Hello and welcome to my next ITSL game, this time against David Eri from Catalonia. He has surprisingly low rating in playback for uh, his ITSL performance, which is 16 victories and 2 defeats. He's the second best after the flawless Harib Flores who has 17 victories out of 17 games. Now, this is a hand like, come on, seriously, 15 points, four hostile cards, no four of cards, if I'm purged, it's It's just a disaster. Okay, Asia scoring is probably the, the only meaningful headline. I mean, if he has Vietnam revolts, I'm gonna lose Asia anyway. Captured Nazi, it's not the worst evil that could happen. I have higher play deck rating, but uh, certainly uh, I'm not a favorite of this game. Okay, so Korean War to be played quite soon. And then we'll fight for South Korea. Uh, but we are certainly going to try to retake Iran after such a cool result. Okay, we both rolled a four. This seems pretty fair so far. <laughs> okay, and it was quite lucky that uh, I have access there. So there are more urgent things than Korea now. <laughs> now Arab-Israel war should be quite safe to play. I'm thinking about the goal. It's tempting to play it, to just get rid of it and put stuff in France. Drawbacks a. I no longer have cards to discard to blockade. B. I became more vulnerable to serious crisis. And C. I give him access to Angola. Uh, sorry, Algeria. But it looks like he doesn't have brilliant hand as well. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so it's about time to play the Korean War. Unfortunately, lost. So only one put there, and we are crawling elsewhere. Arab Israel, you were, I think I'll put one in Egypt first. Oh, Middle East scoring, oh well, so much about it. But it wasn't meant to be mine anyway, I guess. Well, in this case, I think there's no rush. I may take Egypt. Damn it! These rolls are annoying. It's not a matter of this point in Israel. 
but here two victory points, there two victory points, and it sort of a sudden it starts becoming massive. And I think I'll hold you an intervention. It doesn't look bad, as, except from uh, this VP track. But Comic Con and Warsaw Pact are buried. Well, so is East European unrest, but this gives some slight chance to a combo East European unrest followed up with Europe scoring. All right, containment means I'm playing the goal. Huh. Now the question arises. Yeah, France, West Germany is not as important. He needs much more to retake it and Truman is still somewhere. And this is kind of sort of great hand. I got Suez and socialist governments and Europe scoring and three four of cards. He might have gotten the D cards, which he's gonna play for events anyway. But purging him looks like a good idea anyway. <laughs> Especially that after Vietnam revolts, he no longer can take Thailand with the China card. I think I will play Marshall Plan for Ops, saving it for later. Because, okay, I control socialist governments and I control Suez Crisis, but I won't be able to hold both. Actually, I probably won't hold any of them. It looks like I want to get rid of Suez Crisis, UN socialist governments, play Romanian abdication. Romanian abdication is tricky. I want to play it before Tito goes. But after Disto is. Hmm. I know, I know, I could have could. But if he's so pushing, he could have taken Thailand with the China card, I guess, because the China card with Vietnam revolts and Perth should still be worth five in Southeast Asia, and he can take Thailand now. I think he doesn't want to pay the China card for it. That's the issue. And of course, the fact that he didn't coup could have some sense because I don't have good coup targets anyway. Iraq is best. I also don't have brilliant coup cards. And he may have in the Pakistani war. Oh, okay. Ooh. All right, then, oh, hold on. No need 
to rush with this UN intervention because we still have to be prepared to discard the blockade. Okay, Marshall plan in this case. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am playing as if I didn't have Europe scoring. What was it, Mr. Big Spender? But okay, don't complain. He's perched and he had two for ops card. I had three. Okay, one was late in headline, but all right. Europe scoring it is. Suez crisis is not entirely self repairable. But I still want to have it out. I think he doesn't have independent threats. Otherwise, he probably would have used it. I think he has in the Pakistani war. So let's resolve this event first. In case he had this tell, I just don't want to rush with Romanian abdication, but I will have to play it sooner or later this turn. Rather sooner, taking into account the blockade threat. Well, of course, taking UK. blockade for an event, no surprise. So let's resolve it and place influence here. It's never nice to be forced to play UN intervention for op in the last year. Not well. I can consider myself lucky that he didn't have D cards when he was perched. <coughs> and apparently he didn't. <coughs> no rat went to space, could have without Perch anyway, blockade and Truman weren't part. So Perch actually took off two ops, maybe three now, but it was still worth playing <coughs> because it decreases his flexibility. Now the problem with this Romanian application was that this Europe is vulnerable to his domination if he gets socialist of governance for the headline. There were no defectors so far, no CIA, which is also worth noting, no FIDO. Hmm. 
Scotland. Okay. I think India. I'd like to be off Panama as well. So he got the call. I got this though. I got Asia scoring. Not the scoring I'd like to have. He may have socialist governments and Europe scoring. He knows about my defectors, so it's no point headlining defectors. If I headline Asia scoring, even his, his Indo-Pakistani war on, is the card that may give him nomination, and I probably should do it. Because otherwise, he can dominate Asia too easily. Of course, there is a downside risk of him playing the combo to dominate Europe. But Asia scoring is something I know for sure, and Europe scoring is something speculative. Massa, so, okay. This card wasn't played so far. And it was, well, it was quite wise to assume that it might be. I'd like to play Marshall Plan for an event, not to boost Europe, but to activate NATO if he plays it without the need of playing Warsaw Pact form now. Because maybe he's going to rush with repairing countries before Europe comes. <laughs> yep. Oh, well. I will play you an intervention. So it's no point in holding defectors. And I will eventually trigger Warsaw Pact. UN intervention with Distal, Fidel to space when there is some free time. CIA created somewhere, probably Angola. <laughs> well, probably not, because I assume he's playing decal now. I, I should have entered Angola. Probably now. Due to decal. But maybe he's gonna secure Middle East first. He's not. Okay. So I most certainly secure Angle, Algeria, and Thailand. <coughs> Mm-hmm. I think it's space time in case he wanted to space for the second time, but he may still do it. Which he does. And he's gonna see my headlines. Alright, so let's go to Mexico.
Yeah, he did the void play. I'm securing domination, certainly, in Europe. Your cards is in the packy. What's the other one? Let's get it. Let's get here, just to be more present. All right, so this is not that bad, taking into account that he no longer can space to op cards. I hope he doesn't make two more steps too fast and eventually gets stuck with Voice of America or Brain Sales or something like this. In the meantime, I'm showing him my headline. And I think it's going to be Bear Trap. Followed up with Norad cooing Angola. Unless, of course, he grabs it from me. Africa's going. Okay. One more point for him, so I think I'm changing plans. Mm hmm. Actually, Cultural Revolution is the card to cool. And Panama is the good target. And Fife is a great role. Nine is a bad result in VPs, but come on, he no longer has good scoring regions succeeded with nuclear subs all right then in this case oas just begs for itself i think i'll hold brezhnev okay south america scoring no longer an issue for him. Hmm. I'm not really happy about the timing of these scorings. But well, let's then boost what can be boosted. I think the map is starting going into my favor. This is why I I am probably going to get rid of the risk of long gunman as soon as possible. It's not a big risk, actually, 
because for the next turns he cannot force me into playing this. but I just want it to be out. Okay. This is the cheapest in Europe so far. Guatemala Okay, let's resolve it. I think he may have the scoring. And it would be nice to gain these points. Okay, or six, so it's my time to play how I learn. Uh, what the level should be? Four or no, Southeast Asia is going. Okay, duck and cover is done. He says, Okay, let's play the event and set the death count to four. I don't want him to coup Italy. And if he plays Cuban Missile Crisis, I just play Brezhnev Doctrine and... Wait for the next opportunity to discard Long Gunman. If he plays Kennedy, I think I'll discard Long Gunman anyway. Ah, is European Unrest not really painful for him? But adds one more point to his needs about what is to be done in Europe. Libya was a dubious target, and I was very lucky, notwithstanding, that uh, he rolled only a one. So, Long Gunman, another coup on his side, followed up with my. I don't know. I think I think I should go to Uruguay so that I'm not kicked off the region. Okay. <laughs> Europe scoring and Middle East scoring. I think the Voice of America is a great choice. I'll be able to play Colonial Rare Guards later, maybe puppet governments even earlier. But first of all, uh, if I play the Voice of America and just grab him uh, off OK, 
Okay. He probably has to spend some time repairing this. I'll have to spend some time repairing stuff too. Unless, of course, I score Middle East high, sacrificing Europe. He may have Central America. But whatever he does in Central America, I always have brush war for the rescue. If he takes France now, I have brush war for the rescue in Greece. First, I have you two incident for a coup. Influence with, we will bury you. Oh, huh. And this influence goes to France. That's interesting. I think I can no longer count on Europe scoring. And now he may perform a coup. Yeah. This time, a juicy one. Oh, actually. Let's do it with five year plan. <laughs> Not that it really matters. Maybe I'm using brush wall with Egypt. Not that it really matters for you to incident, I mean. Although maybe it's a hold card. Anyway, it's a better card to discard to put my art. Anything else I could have. I don't like the fact that these scoring size are so untimely. Hmm. Okay. Puppets are not of big use right now. Still quite useful, I'd say. Brush were probably best used in Pakistan. On the other hand, why not? I don't need, really need access gainers, but I wanted to go there anyways. Maybe I'm holding Brezhnev one more turn. <clears throat> Of 
because I certainly don't want to give him military ops due to brush, brush points due to military ops. I have nowhere to go. I have to play the scoring. And maybe he has some nasty cards like Green Sails or Pope or <laughs> Central America, the scoring which is left. And the overall map looks quite good for me. I just have to be more careful about the timeliness of scorings. And of course, I have to be careful about Europe in the long run. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Regretfully, it failed. I think Cuban Missile Crisis is very good to stop whatever, because Junta would be great. But what could I do with this Junta? Nothing. I can't lower that. With Cuban Missile Crisis, on the other hand, I'm lowering DEFCON, securing my Central America, and if he may counter it only with uh, Liberation Theology, but even if he does so, uh, he just cancels Cuba, the crisis, by removing influence from Cuba, uh, where he no longer has access anywhere, anyway, unless he places uh, the third one in Nicaragua or Haiti. So what, the follow-up with Che in Guatemala? Okay, but in this case I may just take Cuba and have control in Central America. And then, if we are cooing back and forth, Junta gives me an extra move. <clears throat> I think it's quite safe to play Missile Envy. Duck and cover, no. Olympic Games, maybe. No, I have Olympic Games. Summit, no. Cal, of course, no, it's too early. I don't think he has ABM because it would be a very natural headline. And sooner or later, he's gonna have trouble with grain sales to solve it. Okay, Muslim Revolution. This is a little painful. Okay. I'm risking Missile Envy anyway.
for example, if I get a 4, I can go to France and retake it eventually. Mm. It's a 4 that was actually... Well, Okay, enough of this European takeovers. <coughs> there are going to be some scorings coming back. So I don't think I can fight back Europe. I should rather focus on not being dominated there. Mm -hmm. But what I can do is first generally Americas. Funny that I don't have good places to gain milops from. I don't need Ayanda. I also don't want salt to appear. <laughs> okay, so I'm not getting Kennedy this turn. <laughs> no big deal. I think I may as well share this information with him. Uh. His play looks like he's preparing shuttle diplomacy. So this access to Saudi Arabia also serves a uh, role that mm, Camp David Accords will scores double. I think I'll hold Junta because it's a good counter to almost whatever he can play. <coughs> I'm not going to Cuba, it's not worth Fidel is still somewhere off. And why risking Ortiga? I mean, mm -hmm. well, that's a preparation to Pope. Okay, let's trigger this event.
Yes, my friend, I was waiting for you. So, why don't we take Israel? Or at least attempt to. No Arab Israeli war. should probably go to Nicaragua just to have a good counter against Fido. I'm quite unhappy that Alliance for Progress is already gone. It's a funny game. I think he's sitting with grain sales. It's unusual that I have nowhere, I mean absolutely nowhere, to coup. All right. I got this stuff. So let's play CIA created. And yes, I know, he sees it. He may play grain sales to Soviets quite um, freely, although it's never nice to play grain sales to Soviets on yourself. Maybe I should have played ABM Treaty, because if he plays Missile Envy, this is um, very unpleasant. I really want to know what he has, but, however. <clears throat> and I want to Kuango. <clears throat> Asia scoring, okay. Central America, grain sales, of course. Fidel, hmm. Quagmire, OPEC. Okay, so if I'm given a chance, I'm discarding stuff. Junta and ABM probably waiting for him. Now it's quite pointless to fight for Asia. 
maybe I could have headlined shuttle diplomacy before. Huh? Who does stuff like this? He, he should know about these six cards in my hand. I mean, what I play, CIA? Should he? No, he shouldn't be able to know about CIA. He he, and Europe scoring, Allende and Distal. He shouldn't know about these cards. All the other cards are known. <laughs> I think he's most certainly going to Space Kennedy. Hmm. Why don't we make this decision a little tougher? <laughs> Spacey Kennedy looks up this because he wants to get closer to discard grain sales. Event it open. Okay. I think he's going to event Quagmire on his last AR. Space in Kennedy, of course. I was sure about it. So I'm gonna space Lip Dio. Maybe not. After all, what does he have? Quagmire, Central America scoring, Fido, Independent Reds and Crane Sales. Come on. He's not gonna space Quagmire, is he? I have to get rid of Allende anyway, so let's just do it now and try to... Mm. could be better, and at least now I have some targets for Junta. My fidel grain sales scoring and independent rats. Independent rats are the most irrelevant. And it wasn't that stupid. <laughs> oh, 
all right then let's dump europe Slowly getting rid of good moments to quagmire me. Quagmire, Fido, Grain Sakes. And Central America's calling. <laughs> Not an easy decision. I wonder what I would play if I were in his shoes. I don't want to give him the China card. I won't have to. But the outcome of this game so very much depends on the order of cards in the late war. <laughs> One good move he could play this quagmire influence oh where okay so now that quagmire is gone it was not stupid Now I assume he's gonna play Fidel, and my junta is not as good as I would like it to be. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm going to break this Cuba anyway. And realign. <laughs> Forcing him to score Central America. It 
it could have gone better, really. Okay, missile and alert. Or whatever. One small step it is, because I'm really fed up with his... I mean, I don't want him to be able to space twice. If he isn't and he coos on his first throw, I'm trying to terrorize him. And it's a 6-7th chance to win the game on the spot. Unless, of course, he's gonna drain sales himself. He isn't. I'm lucky he failed this. Okay. So. Let's hope I'm not throwing grain sails. I didn't throw grain sails. It's still possible that he has a way to save himself. Like salt negotiations. This is an ABM treaty which costs two victory points, not two big costs right now. Now, arms race for an event. Unpleasant, unpleasant surprise, I must say. Okay. Distal for space race. Muslim revolution, I mean, who cares? Hmm. Is it possible that he may be able to win it by war games? Scoring, scoring with Africa, it would be possible. Let's then try to... Let's then try to block it. I mean... I really wouldn't like him to be able to play OPEC like this. Africa scoring is in my favor, so I think I'm on the safe side now. All right. But assuming it wasn't over yet, what should I play? Cooing Nicaragua looks good. Only oh, emptying it. Ok. 
Okay, the voice of Farmer Recon. I think I know your last card in the game, my friend. And I'm afraid you are not on the safe side. So thank you for watching. This is very unusual to uh, win the game by DEFCON this way, so that USSR is forced to stuck is stuck on grain sales just because he advanced too far on uh, space race too early. I think he should have uh, played grain sales on himself earlier uh, when it was possible, very painful but possible to play. Uh, because he was seeing my headlines constantly. Well, he didn't. Bye.